In this tutorial, I'm going to solve a problem related to enzyme kinetics. So you might expect some some problems similar to this one. Yeah? So all you need to know is how to use some equations and how to get some some important kinetic parameters relevant to some enzymatic reaction. So I'm going to read the problem. So triose phosphate isomerase, that's your enzyme catalyze the conversion of uh, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate so i'm going to use a small notation like g3p that's your substrate to some product dihydroxyacetone phosphate so that's your product and that's your enzymatic reaction you have your reactant on the reactant side and product on the other side this is an irreversible reversible reaction and it's catalyzed by the enzyme triose phosphate isomerase and I gave you some Michaelis Menten parameters. So the Km for this particular enzyme, for this particular substrate, which is G3P, is 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 moles. So that's that's your <coughs> Km value. So and then and I also gave another information like when your substrate concentration is equal to 30 micromoles, the rate of reaction was found to be some number. Yeah. So this is you said the sorry not the rate of reaction or the initial velocity. I gave the initial velocity when your substrate concentration is equal to 30 micromoles, and then you have to answer a few questions. So what is the the mu max for this enzyme, and then you have to, and then you, the second question is like. Uh, if, if the total enzyme concentration is 3 nanomoles per milliliter, so I just wrote it here. If your total enzyme concentration is 3 nanomoles per milliliter, so what is the K catalytic? Or you, you are, I already said in the lecture, K cat is nothing but you are a turnover number. Or if, <clears throat> so what is your K catalyst or turnover number for this enzyme? And I also ask you to calculate what is the catalytic efficiency. So you all know what is Km. Km is related to how many molecules are of your substrate are associated with your enzyme, making that enzyme substrate complex. Where K catalyst is something connected to how much of those enzyme substrate complex are actually converted into products. So which so this is related to you, some breaking of some bond because you are creating some new molecules from your substrate so so the ratio of this k cat by km should give the catalytic efficiency so that's what you are going to, to calculate so we want to calculate the catalytic efficiency of this particular enzyme triose phosphate isomerase so how to do this yeah this is this is really a straightforward question it's very easy to to solve all you need to know is the given data so i'm going to to solve so what what i gave you is um, km km is equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 moles i'm not going to solve but i'm going to show how to solve you have to do it in your by yourself it's very easy but i, I will show all the steps how to solve this this the, the problem so km is this value and pay attention to the unit unit is expressed in terms of moles and then that's one information and another one is like when your substrate concentration is equal to 30 micromoles your initial velocity is equal to equal to 82.5 micromoles per milliliter per second again pay attention to the units so you are your initial velocity is expressed in terms of micromoles per milliliters per second and your km value is expressed in terms of moles so what is the mu max or the maximum initial velocity of this enzyme so all you need to use is your michaelis menten kinetics km plus yes your substrate concentration i already gave you the substrate concentration which is 30 micromoles and then I gave you the initial velocity at this particular substrate concentration so that's 82.5 micromoles per milliliters per second from that you can calculate 
your mu m value or your maximum initial velocity so 82.5 equal to mu m into your substrate concentration which is given by 30 micromoles divided by km km is nothing but uh, 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 plus 30 micromoles <coughs> so if you solve this one you can get so how to solve it so 82.5 into 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 plus 30 that's equal to 30 into mu m so mu m or your initial velocity will be equal to 82.5 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 plus 30 divided by 30 so this will this will give your maximum initial velocity and always remember that if you express uh, initial velocity in micromole per milliliters per second your maximum initial velocity it will have the same units and then you should pay attention like uh, in, in this equation whenever you are applying your Michaelis Menten expression both km and your substrate concentration should must be must have same units if km is expressed in terms of moles your substrate concentration should be expressed in terms of moles yeah so which mean I did I did some mistake in the previous calculation so I have to your km is 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 moles your substrate concentration should be you have to convert 30 micromoles you have to convert them into moles so how do you convert them 30 micromoles it's um, you just multiply by 1 raised to the power e power minus 6 that will be equal to 3e minus 5 moles so whatever we did it's wrong yeah you just strike it out so just calculate it again your initial velocity is equal your initial velocity is given by what's the value i gave you 82.5 your mu max that you need to calculate your substrate concentration is expressed in terms of moles divided by km value is 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 multiplied plus your substrate concentration is this value so this is the correct one so your substrate concentration and your km value both are expressed in the same units both are in moles or m so this is correct one so whatever the value you get that will be equal to your correct mu max and that the unit will be equal to mu mole per milliliter per second so that's how you get your maximum initial velocity and then I'm, I'm just going to show how to calculate so you have to spend some time in getting the numbers so you have to answer the this next question so your e total your enzyme concentration is equal to 3 nanomoles per milliliter of n mm -hmm. 3 nanomoles per milliliter so this is your enzyme concentration total enzyme concentration so and i ask you to calculate k cat catalytic turnover number so we all know that mu max is equal to k catalytic turnover number multiplied by your total enzyme concentration so you know this mu max just now we calculated it will be expressed in terms of micromoles per per milliliters per second this will be some number which you get from step a that will be equal to k catalytic multiplied by your e total so if you look at here if your maximum initial velocity is expressed in terms of micromoles while your total enzyme concentration is expressed in terms of nanomoles so you have to convert nanomoles to micromoles and all you need is to divide by thousand so 
so your e total will be equal to 0 0.003 micromoles per milliliter so you just substitute 0 0.003 micromole per milliliter so both of this will get cancelled micromole per milliliter so whatever and you know this <coughs> so all you need is your final k cat will be expressed in terms of this number this is equal to your mu max which you get from step a divided by 0 0.003 and it will be have an unit of one by second so one by second is nothing but your turnover number and then so turnover number have an unit of one by seconds in your case and then i ask you to calculate catalytic efficiency of your enzyme which is the triose phosphate isomerase so k cat by km that's your ca ca catalytic efficiency we know this km value i already gave you in the problem which is 1.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 moles and your catalytic efficient k, sorry you had a catalytic constant or k cat or turnover number that's you get this from the from this particular step you put that value here and that has a unit of 1 by s so your catalytic efficiency will be like a, some number divided by moles per second be some number you have to calculate it you have to use your calculator and calculate this catalytic efficiency and the unit will be one moles per second so this is something like how many moles of your enzyme is converted into product <coughs> per second yeah? so km has a unit of moles this has a unit of seconds yeah this is correct yeah? so you have to use your calculator to get these values yeah? all you need is to to pay attention to your units so mm, i think you all can solve these values it's easy so try to use your calculator and get the get the number so you might expect some problems uh, similar to to this one so so that's why i solved this problem for you and then i'm going to stop recording and then i will i will do one more problem related to enzyme kinetics and then i will solve a few more problems related to one more problem uh, maybe two more problems related to microbial kinetics and uh, one more problem related to your mass balance maybe two more problems related to mass balance i know jack already covered few parts so few of the problems still i will i will show you how to how to solve some some problems yeah. and thanks for listening